Today, I'd love to give you a look into the Arthropods Science Unit from the Good and the Beautiful. This highly engaging science unit contains 10 lessons, each discussing characteristics, features, and amazing facts about interesting insects and arachnids. Captivating videos, hands-on activities, and stunning photos are all included to help your family learn together. All science units from the Good and the Beautiful are taught family style, which means you only need one course book for your entire family. The Arthropod Science Unit goes hand in hand with accompanying student journals. These journals include age-appropriate activities, worksheets, and diagrams that help your children better understand each lesson. There are two different student journals, one for children grades three through six, and one for children grades seven and eight. The grades seven and eight student journals also has a lesson extension for each lesson in the unit. These extensions help older children learn even more about concepts and subjects recently presented. Let's explore one of the lessons in the arthropods unit. This is lesson three, insect stations. As you can see here, at the beginning is a preparation and an activity supplies box. This gives the parent or teacher at a glance, a short list of supplies that are needed and concise instructions about any prep work before beginning the lesson. In this lesson, students rotate between insect stations and study four different remarkable insects. The first station is all about termites. After watching a video and having a short discussion, children create their own termite mound out of clay and write facts they learned on the insect stations page in their student journals. The next station is about the illuminating world of fireflies. Children read a fun poem, and while observing some fantastic images showcasing firefly attributes, they activate glow sticks and discuss how magnificent it is that fireflies can produce their own light. Then they add a couple of details about what they learned on their worksheets. The third station is a buzz of information about mosquitoes. Children study the life cycle of mosquitoes using the beautiful diagram in the course book. Then in their student journals, they draw and label their own diagrams. The last station explores the quiet lives of silkworms. Using the creating silk cards in the lesson, children learn how silk is made and then draw the steps on their worksheets. The lesson ends with a reminder for older children to complete the lesson extension in their student journals. Each science unit from the good and the beautiful also has an optional book pack. These fascinating books are a wonderful complement to the topics you and your children are learning in the course. The book pack for the arthropods unit contains The Boy Who Loved Bugs, The Story of Jean-Henri Fabry, The Story of Maria Marion, and Fiddler Crab. Also, older children will enjoy the Insects and Arachnids Questions and Answers book, an optional correlated book for grades seven and eight. Would you like to see more? Here are some other pages from the course book and student journals. If your family has ever wondered about the intriguing characteristics and attributes of bees, ants, butterflies, or arachnids, this unit is for you. Come check out the arthropods unit from the good and the beautiful.